So the first, uh, the first member of this year's class is Jeff Ashby. He's not able to be here today, uh, but he is a, um, a 1976 graduate of the University of Idaho, and his bio is in the program, and you can read about that after our ceremony today. We will send our, our plaque to him. Next is Forrest Bird, and Forrest is here today. Forrest Bird is the president of Bird Space Technology in Sandpoint, Idaho. He and his wife, Pamela Bird, are founders of the Bird Aviation Museum and Invention Center, located near Sandpoint. I know there's a few other people from Sandpoint here today, so uh, be sure and say hi to Forrest Bird. Forrest became a pilot at an early age and performed his first solo flight at age 14. Did your parents know about that? At age 14? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, he enlisted with the U.S. Army Corps and entered active duty in 1941 as a technical air training officer. This rank, combined with the onset of World War II, gave him the opportunity to pilot almost every aircraft in service, including every jet, aircraft, and helicopter. By 1955, after having attended numerous medical schools and completed uh, diverse residencies, he developed the prototype Bird Universal Medical Respirator for acute and chronic cardiopulmonary care. He tested the device by traveling in his own airplanes to medical schools, asking doctors for the most ill patients. And in each case, known thera therapies that had failed, and the patient was expected to succumb to pulmon pulmonary failure. Well, Forrest Bird then invented the Baby Bird Respirator, for infants that help reduce mortality rates from 70 to less than 10 percent for infants with respiratory problems. Forrest holds more than 200 patents. He founded the Bird Corporation in 1954 and is now the founder and owner of Percussionary Corporation based in Sandpoint, Idaho. Based on his research, the company developed a number of advanced breathing related devices including Mark 7 respirator, which provides the patient with volume ventilation and is still in use around the world today. Forrest won the Lifetime Scientific Achievement Award in 1985 and in 2005. He, contributes to, he continues to contribute to the field of pulmonary science by participating in the development of VDR, a ventilation that permits management of the most challenging patients, including ARDS, trauma, and inhalation injury. In 1995, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and named Inventor of the Week by MIT in February of 2001. Forrest has been honored with several prestigious awards, including the Presidential Citizens Medal in 2008, presented by President George Bush. He, uh, he visited the Oval Office again in 2009, where he received the National Medal of Technology and Innovation from President Barack Obama. Forrest was served an honorary doctorate in science from the University of Idaho in 2011, and today going to receive the Academy of Engineers, which I'm sure is the most prestigious award yet. <laughs> <laughs> so po uh, Forrest, please come up to the podium. conversation that gets right to the source all the way through so that you take and transfer a maximum amount of information in a minimum amount of time. 
I think especially for the younger people, that's the way to go. I've had a good life, I've had a lot of help. And you'll realize as you travel down the road to completion of your studies or whatever you're doing, the more you'll realize the help you have received. And it is that help that takes us down the road, regardless what road we follow, and allows us to complete our journey. Thank you very, very much. Pleasure visiting.